Hey, and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how you can switch your scenes fast and easy without a stream deck with OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First thing that we're going to need to do is launch OBS or Streamlabs. I'm going to start with OBS or OBS.live as they're the exact same. Alright, once OBS is open, we're just going to go down here to settings. Uh, once settings opens, we're going to find the hotkeys tab. And in the hotkeys tab, we're going to have to scroll down a little bit until we find our scenes. The first scene I'm going to come across is my B-Ray Backs scene, and it's set to Control plus end. Uh, to set this here, uh, it does have a few options in here, but you just need to click on the switch to scene and click on it. You can delete what's there, uh, click Control end. That's the one I prefer to use as it's something I do not use for any other tasks or anything else on my keyboard. And next time you click control end when you're on your scenes, it will go to your, it'll switch to the scene, be right back. Uh, just a little bit down further here, you can go to the gameplay. Uh, depending on how many scenes you have, I'm going to go through each one. The gameplay I have is set is control and page down. Again, these are other keys I do not use for anything. And the only setting in here you need to worry about is switch to scene. There's other things if you prefer, if there's other settings you want to go through, show top, browser, etc, etc. The things that it has in it, I'm just going to use to switch the scene with the control plus page down. Same thing for the starting screen. Uh, just go to switch the scene and type in your preferred key. You can use any combo of keys. You can use control one for all that matters. Um, I use control page up again because these are keys that are very out of the way. The last thing I'm going to go over is quick keys for how to mute your mic. So uh, when you switch your scene to a BRB, you want to make sure that you are muting your mic as well. So people can't hear what's going on in the background. So you want to scroll all the way down here to find your mic slash aux input and it's going to have mute and on mute you want to make them both the same so you can just push the button to mute and then push the same button to on mute i use control plus home because it's another key on my keyboard that i never ever use with control so i set this here to control plus home after that's all done you'll be able to switch scenes by using your control keys that you just set up your combos and you'll be able to mute your mic as well after you click apply and click OK. You can give it a test by clicking Control End. There it goes to the BRB. Control Home. There we are. Mute it. Home again. Control Home. Unmute it. Uh, page down. Back to gameplay. And page up to just starting. And back again. So that's what it'll look like. All you have to do is hit the keys on your keyboard. It's pretty quick. It's pretty fast. And uh, this voids the reason. You don't actually have to have a stream deck. You can set up quick keys on your keyboard to work fairly good. Um, the only benefit of a stream deck is it's got macros. So it can push control home in a single key instead of having to use control home. All right, next I'm going to go over how you can do this in Streamlabs. I'll be right back in a second. Okay, Streamlabs is very much the same. Once you have the app loaded up, all you'll have to do is go down here to the settings cog. And exactly the same spot you want to go to your hotkeys. This looks a quite a bit different than OBS. So OB, uh, Streamlabs starts with start streaming. And you just need to scroll down the same way and find the one that says scenes. This is going to have a list of your scenes, the playing, starting, and ending. Uh, click on the one that you want. And the same as OBS. You just go down until you find the switch scenes. And click in the key that you would like to switch your scene. So I'm going to set the playing as control page up and there you go go down to starting I'm going to control page down and ending I'm going to control end there we go now those are all set up make sure you click the done button um, another one down here is the mic you want to click on it as well and this one here is the same thing it's mute and on mute so I like to use control home and control home so that when you click it once it will mute it and if you click it the second time it will unmute it but that's as easy as it is that's streamlabs obs and obs.live obs and how you can set up your quick keys to work like a stream deck it's pretty easy and it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying a stream deck a stream deck is not for everybody it does make it a quite a bit easier where it works with macros and it will it will push the control plus home in a single key which does ha give it still some benefit 
over just setting up your keyboard. But if you just have a couple spare keys on your keyboard, this is a very easy, uh, quick solution to be able to switch between your scenes very fast and efficiently. And a little test. Perfect. Uh, mute and unmute work perfect. And that's just a very easy control end home page up and page down are very close to each other. You can just hit it on the same side as your mouse. It makes it very quick and efficient. But that's everything there is to it, guys. If you think I might have forgot something, definitely leave something below in the description. If you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.